What's happening? What's happening, YouTube? You're not seeing doubles, ladies and gentlemen. This is a Crockett and Tubbs t-shirt from Miami Vice back in the 80s when I grew up. And this I am here. Good. Oh, see, y'all, look, look, look. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, it's Lamont Tyson in the building. And let me say this about my co-host tonight. There would be no major great ship without an anchor. You see, you can't have a ship without an anchor. And ladies and gentlemen, my anchor is right here. It's the homegirl, Muchella, who hang with the fellas. Yeah, I hang with what? the fellas. I hang with my people. And Queens is mm -hmm. in the building. What's up, y'all? What's up, oh, my people? <laughs> Put the hammers up. I want to see them. <laughs> Put them hammers up, y'all. <laughs> Put them hammers up. And ladies and gentlemen, while we wait for some people to get into this live, I'm going to do a this or that with Moochie. I'm going to put her on the spot about her her boy toys on power. I'm going to put her on the spot. But before we do that, let's shout out some of the people that get here early. Daria, Miss um, Kira Speaks, who has a YouTube channel. Please go check her out. Trinice Fuller, my sister from Queens, shouting you out. Hope Lee got the hammers up. Reggie in the building. One Shot Gaming got the hammers up. Monique Johnson got the hammers ew, up. Samara's in the building. Altiera's in the building. Nancy Nayu, my homegirl, y'all. I, I wish I could get her on the show along with my homegirl, Tressa C, because y'all be making such great points. And we promise y'all, if y'all get up here, we're going to take good care of y'all. ZJ in the building. Loving this. Queen in the building. Savannah Rivers has joined us. Sylvia Davis has joined us. Let's go ahead and get this thing popping, Moochie. Um, someone wanted me to read a special shout out, and I'm gonna do this. So, if you're watching us and listening to us right now, whenever you tell me some good things going on in your life, I do try to make sure I get them on the live so people can know that our people are doing big, big things. And Moochie, take a look at this that a fan sent us in, and I'll reveal her name in a second. On IG, she is Lex the Targaryen. She says, Hi, Lamont. I'm uh -huh. a huge fan of you and your wife and the crew. I've been listening to you guys for quite a while, and I'm actually a college student, communications major, and I based one of my papers on the interaction between you and Moochie and how when having a podcast or a show, you have to have a balance of comedy and great atmosphere. Got an A on that paper. Thank you. Oh my God, that is yeah. I sound like Shanae Nay right now. Oh my yeah. goodness. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And ladies and gentlemen, this is the home girl. You can follow oh, her on IG. Pretty. Oh, and, and, and Moochie, she's got music. So if you go over to her IG, which is Look. the Khaleesi, the black Khaleesi, you can get a chance to check out her album. She's ex-military and she yeah. is doing the thing. And we want to give a big shout out to her. We're going to have her on as a guest at some point in time, Moochie. All right. Um, well, remember, are you you need maybe you need to come back with Friday with friends. Just saying. Well, you know, this Friday I am with friends. We're doing Game of Thrones preview, remember? Mm -hmm. So I, I might wind up doing Friday with friends after Game of Thrones because we're rotating. If you don't, you guys didn't know. Uh, we're rotating between me and Nita on our channels on Fridays. We're doing Game of Thrones. And actually, after I'm done at 9 p.m. Friday, Nita's going to go on her channel for my Thrones fans out there. So, ladies and gentlemen, go check out this young sister right here doing big things. Holla at her. Moochie, this or that before we get started. Okay. You, you sure you ready for this? Yeah, I could get with this. I could get with that because this is where it's at. Let's do this. Now I'm gonna say you can't, you cannot. Your answer cannot be you're gonna get them all at the same time, okay? So all you right. can't say that. Okay. But here's the scenario, Moochie. I'm ready. Let's just say you had to do a bid in prison, and you've been in there for five years. So you know you didn't had to live the prison life. You didn't had to eat the prison food, and you ain't have no warm thing to lay up next to while you was in there for five years. So. This or that, Moochie. Who do you select to pick you up and take you to their home for a late night dinner? Is it going to be Lulu? Is it Marvin? Or is it Unique Joey Badass? You can only have one. You know who I'm picking. The chat know who I'm picking. Look, I'm not <laughs> even going to answer. Put it in the chat for me, y'all. Who I'm picking. Okay. 
Okay, oh, ladies and gentlemen, okay. Moochie wants y'all to put it in the chat who oh, she's going to pick. Who I'm picking. To pick her up from prison, take her home for a late night dinner. And while you guys put the masses in there, Demarcus Vaughn, super chat for $5. I appreciate you, my brother. Would y'all consider Rock a snitch when she gave Howard information about Unique's re-up? Mm, no. no. I, would I would consider what she did playing her own game to better herself. Wasn't snitching. She wasn't snitch. I mean, it was snitching technically, but what she did was not a snitch with the intention of having him thrown in jail for life. She was putting a pawn in place so that when she got ready to take over the blocks, it was going to already be set the way she wanted. So I wouldn't consider her a snitch, though. I wouldn't consider that no snitch. And the response for Moochie, Ew, everybody in the it. comments. Ew, I love y'all. <laughs> wait a minute. One person, one person said you was going to get unique. No, you know that's, that, that's Mo's boo. <laughs> yeah, I know. But everybody else in the chat know that Moochie was going for a Lulu. She she want Lulu to get low. Get down low, Lulu. Get oh, low. He, could, he could do just like how he was doing it. To, you could get with this and you could get with that. <laughs> oh, I can't with this sister, man. Yeah. <laughs> this girl. Moochie, let's get into some um, reviews and a little bit of... Um, not spoiler talk per se, but preview for the next episode. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to have us watch the trailer, and then I'm going to break down something I think that we're going to see manifest in the next episode. So here we go, Moochie. This is the trailer for the next episode, and then we will finish reviewing episode three with the parts we missed last night. Here we go. So you're the little broad creating all these big problems. This is weakness. It's just a move in this game we're playing. I'm not playing your game. It seems like you hit a rough patch. I want to know who it was so I could get payback. You short 600. So much skimming, we got to do what we do. When they come for us, they're going to come for all of us. Ain't nobody going to tell me why I can't do business. Not the Italians, and not neither you. Mm. 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 I don't know. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Well, Moochie, let's break this down. So in that trailer, did you see, <laughs> did you see how Godfather Harlem gave her a piece of paper with a number on it and she dropped the shit right on the trash she was like bruh moochie was that him saying this is how much you're going to have to pay me for all the streets you done took over or what exactly was he saying moochie mm. he was saying what he want as a cut like if you coming in mm. on in this area this is what i expect to get from you hmm Lord have mercy. When you done got them nasty Italians in your business, no matter what they cut is, they're going to always want more. Because we know how greed run in this country. Mm -hmm. And she could pay his toll. And I could easily see him mooching, running around, looking at how good her business is, and deciding that she's got to pay more than just what he asked for. And look at this dude looking like a sleaze ball. Look like all he do is sit around and eat fettuccine all day. Want yeah. some of her money. That's what he want. With a fake-ass Rocky Balboa behind him with a hair and bone necklace. Want some of rock money. So I, I got the next... I want to know what's his name on this because you know why? Why? They could... Mm, remember who he was from The Sopranos. Of, of course. That's why I said Godfather. If... If... if, if oh. Go ahead, Moochie. Don't even hold back. Remember who he was from The Sopranos. Mm -hmm. This could be a prequel before Tony Soprano took charge if could be. he had the same name. Right. But you know they're not going to... They, they probably won't run the story that close, but you know they will give him some of them characteristics, Mooch. You know they're going to give him all... The, he's not going to like black people. He's definitely not going to like women. And he's going to test that. He's going to test that organization out. And well, he's gonna I, I test. I to differ with that part. They like the chocolate, but they like to be like behind closed. Doors. Discreet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they they like to be yeah, discreet. She'll never be on my arm. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Right. But, right. You know, you know, they, like, could... they like some black. They like some brown sugar. They like the cookie. They always have, 
and that's one of the reasons why this country got so many mixed kids that came out of slavery because all they would do while they wise was up in the big house thinking that the men is out there preparing for the next day they was preparing all right they, they was, was getting that ass relaxed by doing things to women quarters. yeah come on man Get but in any, any event sugar. yeah and once you go black moochie Look, once you gonna... get the chocolate, you will not be able to resist. <laughs> Ladies once and gentlemen, he dip in the chocolate, he will not be able to resist. Please be sure to download the podcast. Everything we do on my show and my YouTube, I put it on the podcast. And follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and now I do have the TikTok. Moochie, I'm going to tell you who I think made the phone call. I think when we seen this phone call, I think Joey, unique badass, put in a phone call to the Italians to let them know exactly who was moving in on their territory. Moochie, do you think there's any credence to that? He could have. Did she tell him that she was going there to Jersey? Who's to say that's Jersey? It might, it may or may not be. I'm assuming it is Jersey. I, I was assuming. It, okay, you know what? You might, uh, you might be right with that. You know what else it could be? What's that? Howard Beach. That's Queens too. <gasps> Borderline. Oh. And, and and they did dabble with them. Oh. I'm just See, saying, but I could be wrong. Hey, hey, we but all could be, be right. wrong. But we could all, <laughs> oh, right. oh, in the name, oh, be very right. We could be very right. But Moochie, look who walked up in the booth to roll up on Unique. That's your girl, mm -hmm. Detective Burt Bag. Moochie, is Unique about to use her for his own selfish needs? Because you know he's not snitching. Of course. I don't know why y'all think he was gonna just walk away, back away quietly like Homer Simpson right. into the bushes, because that wasn't mm -hmm. happening. Nope, not at he, all. He's he's still kind of bitter how this went down, and he's gonna try to put a monkey wrench in her little program, and not to mention the monkey wrench that her son done threw in there already. Oh my lord, lord, what's up, Pamela Smith? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, in this same trailer. We do catch Tariq skimming. First, he couldn't get his first, he took the drugs. Now he can't get that. So we catch him in there skimming. And Marvin said to the tune of six hundred thousand dollars. Moochie, did you see who I said is gonna wind up having to die because of that? Yeah, it might be Warrell. I said the new guy that they just put for the block in 40 it, in Jersey. In Jersey? Yep. For wait a minute. So then, are, is the Italians from Jersey, or are they from Howard Beach? I think they might be from Jersey because, she, you know, you, Unique done told her where her money is at, so she done got her money back. So she can do the re -up. and maybe she invaded Jersey, and the minute she got there, they was like, hell to the gnaw, and got warned that she was coming to Jersey, and that might have been who Unique was calling. Or it could be that... She done, she done starved the Italians right there where she at right now. And you need put in a phone call to them and let them know this is who's starving you. This is the broad who's starving you and um, handle your business. Could go either oh. way. Hey, Buzz703. What's up, Buzz? What's up, Tressa? What's up, Pamela? Everybody in the building. What's up, Vanessa? My crew is here. And there was something else that struck me in this trailer. And then we'll get back to episode three. Your boy about to beat the hell out of Crown Camacho. Ain't nobody else on this show got glasses like Ron Johnson from a different world, but Crown Camacho. Mm. He's getting that butt beat. Why is your man putting his hands on him getting physical, Moochie? You why? know why? Because he probably got wind that he went to rock. The, either the whole, the, either he sold his portion to rock and he got wind of it, or she actually said something to Lulu. Hmm. Which one would cause the most controversy? She already Moochie sold could, it. He already sold it. Could it also be that your boy, Katier Fareed, might have said, Lulu, you know your man's was eavesdropping on you when you was in there trying to handle business with your sister? No. I'm just you saying. Know what else could have got it? Mm -hmm. That and maybe one of the kids told 
Lulu that he came by the house. Oh, and let me let me read this one too, Moochie. Let me read this one. Mrs. Thomas said, or he found out that dude was kicking it with his girl and got yeah, proof you know of that. It. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. He he getting his behind whipped for some reason. Mm-hmm. And it looked like it's gonna be a a a Donnie Brook, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, it looks like Crown about to get crowned for real gonna in this episode. This crown over and mm -hmm. over again. He gonna knock that block off. The last thing, Moochie, then we'll get back to this last episode. I think in this situation, you got your boy Warrell on a bus. Now, Warrell don't drive a bus in real life, but he's being hemmed up by someone who's either the Italians or the police. My speculation is that Rock is having him do something on the bus to draw out some Italians. And this is the Italian he drew out so that maybe she can break into their house. Maybe she can break into whatever, you know, stash houses they have. What do you think is going on here with this Italian got his hands on Warrell? They might be using the, the, the it looked like it's an accessoride vehicle. So mm -hmm. it looked like he might be using that to transport the stuff. Mm. Like, mm. He, like, hey, mm. Mo. Hey, y'all. <laughs> Y'all yeah, so. like how I do that? Y'all <laughs> like how y'all, well, it's only two of us on the screen of beauty and hot sexiness. <laughs> then when I pull the screen back, y'all get y'all get some more. But you know y'all got to pay for this. You don't get all that leopard print for free. So Ooh. fellas, get them Look, super chat. She got the girl too. Look, she got the girls. I know. Up I know. They, they, they up and they like, hey. Uh, <laughs> hey they, 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 they up and they like, who needs the damn Grand Canyon? <laughs> well, you got Monique. <laughs> That's what they said. So, what's going on, Monique Nicole? How you feeling? Ooh, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. How about you guys? Mm. We're doing good. great. Good. Have you had an opportunity to see the episode four trailer um, of oh, Power Next Week? Oh, you want to do this week? or that? This or that with her? Oh, good. okay, ladies and gentlemen. I let me do this or that with uh, Monique Nicole because uh -oh. I missed it. Uh -oh. So, we've got 231 in the building. Let us get 231 likes. It'd be great if we got 231 super chats for these beautiful young ladies. And now it's time for me to do this or that with Monique Nicole. So this or that, Monique Nicole. Mm -hmm. You done been stuck in prison for five years. Damn. Okay. You done had to eat the prison food. You haven't had any love. You haven't been laying up against the warm body of a man. All right? <laughs> you getting ready to get out of jail. Okay. And you can only pick one of these three men that's going to be there to pick you up Take you to their crib, give you a romantic dinner, and anything else your hearts desire. Mm. Anything. Your choices. Lulu, Marvin, <laughs> Unique. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, post your comments in there while she's thinking because we want to know how well y'all know Monique. And shout out to Big Buzz for that super chat. I yeah, appreciate it. See if they could guess the one she guessed. Yeah, let's see. Okay, so Pam, uh -oh, Pamela already Smith. Made it. Yep, Pamela Smith said Lulu. Queen said you need. Shakana said you need. Do we got any more answers? <laughs> Samara so said you need. Yeah, Miss Thomas, no, you. Ms. Thomas good. said That's Marvin. Good. I was going okay. up these last couple. Nancy weeks. said you need. Let me get two more. Two more. Then we okay. Tamika <laughs> said you need. Barbara said you need. So Nicole, a uh, Monique. Nico, who you taking? It's tough because y'all know I love Unique, but baby, if it came down between Lulu, uh oh, uh oh, what? Uh oh, uh oh, oh, uh -oh. No, not uh -oh. Lulu. Oh Lord, <laughs> I, love <laughs> I love Unique, but him against up against Lulu. Because remember, y'all, yeah, we don't, we don't, you, don't, saw, you, you, saw, you saw him at work, right? Hold on, we don't see what Lulu can work with, so. Uh, uh. So, so what, what we say? We need a, a love scene with Joey Badass now. Ooh, we might. Uh -oh. mm -hmm. I think he's so, gonna be like it, DMX and Belly. How about that? This moochie, but she be trying to get you in trouble for real. <laughs> Flipping you like a, a pancake. <laughs> Flapjack City. So 
<laughs> Moni, if you saw the trailer, what give us kind of what predictions you think might be happening in that trailer? I'm gonna be honest, I have to see it again because I, I only saw it one time. Um, oh well, here you go, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. I got it for you for your viewing pleasure and the audience. Take a look at this trailer one more time for episode four. Power, Raising Caney, book three. Season two. So you're the little broad creating all these big problems. This is weakness. It's just a move in this game we play. I'm not playing your game. It seems like you hit a rough patch. I want to know who it was so I could get payback. You short 600. So much skimming. We got the door we do. When they come for us, they're going to come for all of us. Ain't nobody going to tell me why I can't do business. Not the Italians, and not neither you. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Well, that's going to be a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. Damn. Lo loves me a strong black woman. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, now, why yes. Are these, um, Italians coming after. I'm confused. <laughs> me, me and Moose. In the, in the, um, you want me? You want me to give you the breakdown, boo? Yeah, we we yeah, just gave right? a breakdown. We just gave a breakdown a, of why we think okay. the Italian. It's a possibility. Okay. It could be Howard Beach, mm -hmm. or. We, I'm going more to Jersey. I think these is Jersey boys. Okay. And okay. um, look, she done moved down there and then sold up, set up a shop. Mm -hmm. So she got to be messing with their money somehow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did she already do it though that fast? Are we to assume she did it that fast? We're, we're going to assume she did it in the next episode. In right. But here, here's the bug that I was talking about. In that trailer, you've seen your boy Unique getting off the phone, and since you just dissed him, we know he won't talking to you. Woo! And and the person he could have been talking to was Mr. Godfather of New Jersey or Harlem right here. So I'm thinking that maybe Unique called down there and said, look, this, this lady is going to be taking over your spot. Her name is Rock. She's a sister. And we know how the Italians thought about, first of all, women, secondly, blacks, mm -hmm. during this era. So more need Nicole. How you feeling about where we going? I you feel riding? like Unique has something to do with this Italian situation. Mm -hmm. How did Tommy say it? I how do you say it? He said it some funny way. But anyway, well, I tell you. I tell you. He said it some type of way. But <laughs> I feel like Unique got something to do with that, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I don't think Rock mm -hmm. opened up shop that quick in Jersey to have already started any type of issue just yet. I feel like it was just the idea that she had. And she right. said it to Marvin. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking Unique has something to do with this. Then we got Burke paying my man a visit. Like, mm, why is she rolling up on him like that? So I don't know. She rolling up on him because she wants to get the inside truth on who shot her partner. And she know that she's, everybody's in the know except her. She's outside the know. And she's thinking that Unique is going to try to possibly snitch. But... We know good and damn well Unique ain't going to snitch. What I think Unique might try to do is use her, have her in his pocket, skim her along, giving her false truths to see what he can get out of her. He's going to want something in exchange for him saying anything. So that's mm -hmm. what I think is going to happen with that. But I'm, we here for it. And I want us to cover something from episode three I didn't get a chance to talk about yesterday. So we had a situation where we know Juke can sing. But she gets those golden pipes from somebody else. Mm -hmm. So we catch Juke in the church looking at her mama. The mama's coming to greet her and Juke hauls tail up out of the house of worship. Monique, Nicole, you just got here. Talk to me about what you felt when you seen this scene going down. Um, I will say the acting was good. Like the, the facial expressions, they didn't say nothing, but you felt everything in that moment you know what i mean right this right. is a young girl who is seeing you know her mother essentially for the first time and then you know then you have the mom and you know we don't know the full backstory you know what i mean we we don't know was she pushed out the picture you know did she truly abandon her child you know so there's it was a lot it was a lot without anything being said so again the facial mm -hmm. expressions you just you kind of felt it you definitely felt the mm -hmm. moment Right. How'd you feel about it, Moochie? What was going through your head when you seen that scene? What's his, What's the mother name again? Oh, I'm, I'm bad with um names now. I be calling her Latoya. Uh, <laughs> that's what I be calling her too. 
Well, well, for the sake for the sake of this show, we'll say Jukes. Jukes a strange Jukes, mother. Oh, okay. Well, Jukes' mom. I'll say it like that. She looked at that face and saw more of him. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Because when you look, show that first picture, she looked something like more than him. See, mm -hmm. I don't know. You know, I'm just seeing that. Like, who's this look? This look like you know my ex. Mm. <laughs> and you know, so, usually girls look like they dad a lot. Mm. Is that a saying? Yeah, she wait, wait, wait. I, I, I just, I just tipped the scale and won the vote. <laughs> she does look like you. I thought, she'd be happy. I thought she'd be happy about that, Lamar. <laughs> look, well, she said she don't look like. You. I, I <laughs> am happy about that. It's just, it's just that everybody says that, and oh. I'm, I always try to fight it like it ain't true. But me and L resemble a whole lot. So yeah. You know. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So the question with this relationship, and I want you guys in the comments and chats to break it down too. Where do you think they're going with Juke and her mother? Where are they going? Because Marvin made a statement last season, which I know you remember, but Monique, I wonder if you remember hmm. when he was having this rough patch with Juke, mm -hmm. he mentioned that the mama was into lesbian type things. Yeah, he did. And and that sent Juke off the road the rails too. So from the audience and you two, and I'll start with you on this one first, Moochie. Where are they trying to take this story with Juke finding her mother? I mean, I get that she's curious about her mom and you know has questions, but how is the mom gonna respond to Juke? I feel like we're gonna get the truth, the real deal with this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's gonna get the truth, mm -hmm. and it's gonna change a lot. The, remember, I said this. We haven't seen Juke get to the point, and we're seeing stuff add up on top of stuff on top of stuff where it's gonna make her change. Yep. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. this is gonna be one of the things, one of the cards that's added to the deck for that. I agree. I don't know if I've said it on your channel, but like everybody's focused on Kanan, right? When is Kanan gonna mm -hmm. turn? But like, no right. one's really talking about Juke, like Juke was listen juke had everybody shook in the original power she had tommy shook yeah uh go canaan i mean canaan like so when does she turn into a heartless soul because she we saw when she was killing people left and right she didn't give a damn she killed her own people in her group she killed the innocent man at the convenience store like how, how does she become heartless so it's like it's really it's gonna be crazy to see and I actually, I feel bad again. I'm, I'm just, I know it's a show, but I don't know why I feel so bad that these, it's almost like they didn't stand a chance. You know, some mm -hmm. people, you, you know, you hear some people's stories and it's like, they didn't stand a chance just because of their environment, their parents or what have you. It's just, I feel like these characters, that's the example. Like they didn't stand a chance. Nope. You know what I mean? And, and, and Jute is, the way we see Jute, you can see a portion of Jute when she was on the old show, you can see a portion of rock inside of Juke. The, oh, the yeah. heartlessness, the coldness, Definitely. the calculatedness. You can see all that in Juke. And as of right now, Juke is still kind of on that path where if you steer her the right way, she could do some good things. You know, um, so I'm, I'm wanting to see yeah. what happens. Let me get this um, super chat in here. Antonio Partridge, appreciate you, my brother. Five dollars super chat. Loving the show, guys. A minute to win it. For life, with you guys loving the content, loving talking about all the shows. Hey, Moochie, put that yeah. hammers up for my homegirl, Moochie. Appreciate you. He said, really he appreciate it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> look, look, anytime y'all want to come somewhere and see how women make money without taking off a damn thing, this is the channel you come to. You come to this channel, you see super chats thrown all around without taking off anything. So imagine what kind of Riches these women were acquired. <laughs> I need somebody to bless me tonight. Bless my cash. <laughs> you know, <laughs> as you know, and I'll leave it at that. Um, I don't know where they're gonna go other than to reveal what happens, uh, why they split, and now we could prob possibly see Rock start lying to Juke because you know the mama's gonna have a story. Rock has been very vague in some of the things she said to Juke. Yep. But you know the mama is going to give a full story. 
And we're also seeing a turn in her daddy. So her daddy was a hothead who was not doing no woo-saw, relax, relate, release until he met this hot therapist that he's about to get the panty draws from. And then in a very touching moment, mm -hmm. as he's making this character turn, he's sitting in the car with Lulu. He hears this music and he's asking about his daughter. Mm -hmm. Monique, I give the floor to you. This is more reason why I think Marvin going to die this season. Damn. This is more reason why whoa, I think he's going to die. Whoa, whoa. But talk to me about how you think Marvin is going to reapproach Juke to try to get on her good side. I mean, that's a great question. I don't have the answer. <laughs> I don't know how it's going to happen. Do I think it's going to happen? I think so. Mm -hmm. Like, I, as far as like the series as a whole, I do, I, I can see like them kind of partially bonding or getting closer and then, and then something happening to him. So I feel like the moment we start to see them being cool with each other, mm -hmm. that's when we, we got to be like, oh shit, Marvin might be out of here. I don't see it mm -hmm. happening just yet, but I see it happening later down the road. Hmm. What you got for us, Moochie? I had my ear to the streets. Uh-oh. You know how he was going live, mm -hmm. the actor London, that plays Marvin. Oh, yeah. And mm -hmm. they made him in his live tonight, so I think he spilled the beans. Wait, what, what you what, mean? What, whoa, whoa, running back. Beans? Somebody made him in his live, and it, I don't know what it was. I Look, I came on at the tail end of it, so I don't okay. know. So I got to go back and, and listen. Now mm -hmm. it's making me think, Maybe he spilled the beans about. Mm, maybe. Yeah. Look, I'm dealing with these Italians. He already has a bad feeling about going out that way. Yes. And, and he that's should. Her, that's one of her hitters. He's one of her hitters. Her brothers mm -hmm. is her hitters. So, yeah. Damn. You know, she got her security. But you know, when she sends him to go do dirty work. And we know that Lulu's kind of falling back with stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. I hope not. Yeah. I hope not, but damn. But it could be coming from any angle now. You get wow. It? it could be coming yeah. from the, the, be, the, be, the baby mother. Yep. Yeah. I mean coming from Duke. Juke. I mean, th think of think of all the stuff they in, Moochie and Monique, and Rock herself. Rock has layers of crap piling on top of her family. You got the Colombians who's probably upset that you allowed their cousin to get kidnapped, and then the person that kidnapped them, you let them live. So they might be a little upset. You got you, you got the Italians that's going to have an attitude and going to be fighting you tooth and nail. You still ain't dealt with Detective Mike Tomlin. He still want to get close to his son, but I don't think there's an issue to deal with him. If anything, he's probably going to be helping this family. And Ooh. now you got Juke's mother and... I see a situation where Marvin might be falling in love with the therapist and loving somebody in this type of game mm. is a no-no. It's a no-no. Mm. Mm. I'll be mm. sad to see him go, though. Like, damn. We need that comedic relief, man. I, I, well, you I, know, hope, I hope they don't. I, hope, I feel like it's too soon. To, 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 yeah. He might get hurt. I don't, I don't want... I don't, it's too soon um, for him to die. I agree. It's but the way she different. messed up, this this right here, what she doing? She playing with fire right now. Mm -hmm. Out of your element. If they, you're out of your element, they don't know the area. They don't right. know where the hot spots is. They know queens like the back of their hand, so they know what's what. I, I, let, let me pose this to y'all. Let me pose this to y'all. <laughs> one shot gaming said openly and aggressive. No, mm -hmm. one shot gaming. He said openly and attractive. <laughs> yeah, that's what he said. But she, he <laughs> said, <that>. she said, <laughs> oh, oh, well, I mean, y'all, she said even more without saying a day. This is this is her saying more. Uh -huh. you, you feel me? Yeah, I, showed it, showed it. <laughs> and then the little hair flick. <laughs> <laughs> Fellas, uh, that's saying openly attractive, get on me, smack them panty draws right now. That's what that's saying. But anyway, if they take out Marvin this season, she's going to be 
Rock is going to be in a place where she don't really got heavy hitters in a crew no more. But we know how this show is good about replacing people. So could either one of y'all see them getting rid of Marvin and the person that comes in to comfort her, replace him as being the, the heavy hitter, the muscle, so to speak, is a black nigga with a French name, Katia Farid. Mm. <laughs> so you know how this show introduces new people, right? As they about to kick out somebody else. She's going to need some muscle. You already seen he has an attraction for her. She actually shook the man's hand like she got respect for him. She um, know him. She know yeah. him. She know him. She know him. She knows that he's probably one of those people that came up hustled and, you know, came clean out of it. It's not that mm-hmm. many people that do that. So mm-hmm. that because they saying his money is clean. He said it. That's, mm-hmm. that was when they, in, they introduced him. They introduced him as. He's he's basically a legit person. He's still probably got some street things, but he's probably so far away from it where it can't touch him. Mm. Mm. Okay. Pretty girl loves trap content, and we Ooh. love you, pretty girl. Damn. Four ninety nine super chat. Hey panel, Marvin's getting the draws, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy from, Tommy from oh, that's Tom. Look, got the draws. <laughs> yeah, he would say that. He yeah, would say that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> By the way, y'all, they just had the Martin reunion this past weekend on BET, and it was it was cool. It was, it was cool. I enjoyed it. Was, it. it was cool. Yeah, it was definitely cool. I would it say go good. check I it out. It. If you enjoy it. Martin, go check it out on BET right now. That's yeah, right, Jermaine. See. GTD got the draws. Got the draws. <laughs> got the draws. GTD. Oh my goodness. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. That's Let funny. me see. Who else I got up here? We didn't get a chance to talk about this. We <laughs> saw Detective Burt talk. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> we saw we saw Detective Burt talking to her pappy. We learned <laughs> that her mama's not around anymore. And she's up here nosing, just telling him she's having these issues with her partner. And the pappy said, you're just supposed to blindly trust your partner. So, Monique, what are we going to do about this? What, what, what was the point in flashing the daddy? The point of this was to tell us that she had warnings. It's to show us that she had warnings and that this is a foreshadow for what mm. is to come. She got a warning mm-hmm. from her pappy, went over mm-hmm. there, had some brewskis. Mm-hmm. Other people say some brewskis with her dad. Budweiser got- at that. <laughs> right, Budweiser. So that, that's a warning from him. And then the conversation um, she had with her old her old chick. I mean, it's just, yeah, to me, it's foreshadow. It's to show us mm. she had these warnings. She ignored it. She going to do what she wants to do, and she going to get her ass murked. Mm. I think we all in agreement she's going to die. We just oh, don't yeah. know exactly when. We just when. don't know she's exactly when. when. But the closer she gets to figuring out yep. Detective Howard's um, paternity secret and how she, how, how Detective Howard has been like, you know, sliding his hand to make things work out for Rock, mm-hmm. that's when the closer she is to, yep. you know, being in the coffin. I agree. Mm. She's, she mm. she on deck now though. The upper room. <laughs> yeah, she, she on was, deck. You know, I feel bad. She she's keeping keep up. She on deck though. Yeah, I feel bad. She's an innocent character, but she doesn't really know what she's dealing with. You know, she's trying no. to be hot, but I, I just I don't know. It's just mm. she's trying. She do do you guys think that her dad is aware um, that she's lesbian? Because I mean, I I would think. Like they really giving her lesbian kind of like male vibes right here with this coat, the way she's drinking that brew. Do y'all think that the dad has an idea of it? I think so. Either that or they think she's a tomboy. Yeah. That's what back then, that's what they used to, oh, she's just a tomboy. You know? yep. They be in denial for a long time. Mm-hmm. So Moochie, wow. Moochie, guess there's another show we watched that had a similar situation where the characters are lesbian and that sometimes they do wear the tomboy style, so to speak. And that character was drinking with her daddy and Crystal going to have the nerve to say, she looks just like such and such. And I say that she would have heard you say that she'd be ready to fight. Who am I talking about Moochie? 
Jackie? Yes. From High Jack- Town? Yeah. From High yeah. Town, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but oh, Jackie, Jackie, was, Jackie, was, Jackie was smoking crack with her dad. Yeah. Shit. She Jackie was like, was what is this, the 80s? <laughs> she was acting like a man the way she walked the way she just yeah yeah swag, mm-hmm. she... yeah <laughs> yeah you gotta love my girl now that that's my girl man that, that is my girl i can't wait for high town to come back yeah, on getting I. it getting it popping so here we go let me get y'all down here to oh we didn't really get a chance to talk about this so Kanan is getting off the bus and he's just trying to mind his business. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, like the damn candy man, out pops Howard, you know, and saying, bruh, I, sh- I know you shot me, but I'm not going to tell on you. You my son. He drops the mic, leaves the building. Kane is standing there with his mouth so wide open. Every fly and gnat in the city going to fly in his mouth. <laughs> Moochie, tell me about this scene right here. How is it going to change Kane? And do you think this is the moment Kane and realize that his mama might not be telling the truth? Yeah, you heard the song they played at the end. Mm-hmm. What they do? They smile in your face. <laughs> but wait a minute. Wait, wait. It's a that's a very loaded song to play when you're talking about your mama. Backstabbers. Your mama. Backstabbers. What they do? Hey, they smile in your face. Oh, oh my time, God. They oh, take your place, the backstabbers. Wait a minute. Let, let me find out. I need to put y'all on the road, pointer sisters. Let me find out. Y'all got them pipes. So what you think, Monique? <laughs> Sorry, that was funny. Um, Yeah, no. The look on his face, Kanan was shook. It's like he really put two and two together. Like in that moment, I feel like he processed it. and was like, this man would not be looking out for me. You know what I mean? If he wasn't my father, mm-hmm. like, it made sense basically. Right. Especially right. once he told him, I know you shot me, but I'm not going to turn you in because you're my son. I would not do that to my son. Like that solidified it. It was just like, oh my gosh. The look on his face, that was great acting. I really liked this scene. Mm-hmm. Um, like the shock that Kanan had, like, and you can kind of see him processing it in his head. Like, damn, my mama is cold blooded. <laughs> I can't trust my son. Mm-hmm. They should have played. Right, they should have played that. Cold blooded. <laughs> right. Trust you. You are mm-hmm. trifling. You lie. Because look, this is the scene, Monique, where she not only lied about that situation. She lied about scrap. She lied about yes. the day. She lied about scrap. Just lie on top of lie right here in this book. And look at that. Now, see, that's the face of evil. Someone yes. who can just look you in the face with the type of things she's lying about and crack a smile like that. I don't want no part of no panty draws like that. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Absolutely not. That's just why they played the song. Look at how she smiled. She smiled in, in juke face. We yeah. don't know nothing about your mother. <laughs> you know, all I know is you got that voice from her. You got that voice from her. You got that beautiful voice from her. <laughs> Damn, if Gucci she probably, don't sound just she like probably had the foot in her butt pushing her <laughs> out the door. Oh my goodness, Mooch. <laughs> oh, it's, it's get true. out! Look. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> This game. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Mm-mm-mm. Moochie said that she was the reason why she got out the house in the first place. Boy. Heck yeah. I swear, man. I swear. It's, so I it's about to be a turn in their relationship. What it y'all is, it's gonna, like, do you think we're about to see it? Like the turn. You thought that Juke and, and, and Kanan was close? Watch mm-hmm. how they find out all the lies. Because remember, she yeah. knows more than him, Kanan. Mm-hmm. Right. So now right. they're gonna start. Tell him, like, together and... and she's gonna tell him, look, I been knew that that was your father. Cause remember, oh. she knew. I think. I think. Yeah, for she, some she reason, knows. I think you know. she knew because she's right. older than him. Cause she was like, there's yeah. some things you don't know about this family. Do you mm-hmm. remember when the? St- do I remember. I'm gonna take you back. Walk with me. Remember when the stash house got robbed and she right. accused Scrappy, and she, and she was like, she was saying yeah. how boy Scrappy was, and then she was like. Um, there's some things you don't know about our family. Mm-hmm. And I then that's what he said. I thought she was referencing the um 
the D Wiz stuff because she kind of saw she she saw what was happening and she kind of knew ahead of Kanan. I feel I feel like that I feel like they made that one statement ambiguous for Very. all those things. I Very. think for it's that, a broad spectrum of things. Okay. Right. She's seen right. a lot That's of stuff. That's what I'm stuff. saying. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can exactly. see that. Uh-uh. Yep. Somebody yep. said bullseye. Yup. Mm -hmm. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely think and, yes. Family history is so, <laughs> some stuff. They claim blood's supposed to be thicker than water, but mm -hmm. it sure enough don't taste like it. I can tell you mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Folks start tripping, boy. They take advantage of families, what they do. Yes. Um okay, so, Ronald Cameron said he don't think jukebox knows. Mm, okay. Okay. She might not, but then again. Um, what other lies do she do know the truth about that Kanan don't know? So it, it, we're gonna see, man. We're gonna see. There's one character we need to know what's gonna happen to him. Mm. Is he gonna make a second track called The Streets Need a Body Part Two? And I'm talking about famous Monique Nicole. <laughs> they putting famous on somewhat of a ride right now. The boy done been kicked out of his house for sleeping with a white woman. His sister done gone across across the LA and he ain't got no money. His albums ain't doing nothing. And he's pushing drugs with Kanan at this moment. Where are they taking this character? Mm. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I don't know, man, because they're making me worry about famous. I know y'all think he's annoying. I mean, he is annoying. I know he's annoying. But he's just a young, innocent kid to me, so I still have a like a little soft spot for him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but I don't know. I, I have to see a little bit more to be certain. But I'm getting nervous. I just, and, and even yeah. with that, Monique, I like you. I like a famous. Like, yes, he is. He's he's got that youthful annoyance. About yeah. Him. It ain't too bad though. Like yeah. I've seen it worse. I've seen he's it a way kid, worse. So it like it yeah. makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I do like that. And I'm going to swing to my sister Moochie in a second. But ladies and gentlemen, be sure to download the podcast. Share it with your friends. Everything I cover on my channel goes on the podcast. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, um, IG. I do have a TikTok now, so you can follow me over there. And tomorrow, I'm going to be doing an emergency live stream at 9 p.m. with the homie Living Legend Larry. Because me and him have been screaming that YouTube and its damn algorithm is racist. It's skewed Ooh, to be you racist. You saw that. You saw that, right? And no. Yes. And so saw that. Tomorrow, I'm tomorrow I'm night, tomorrow night, oh, me and the living legend are going to give you guys anyway. our grievance. We're going to let you guys know what we have endured as YouTubers. Damn. And we're going to let you hear what big YouTubers that are African-American have had to deal with and why we don't grow the way others grow and how things get away with them. So if you don't want to, we're going to have living legend unchained. And if Muchella who hang with the fellas want to get in, Hey, you can come too. Let's go. Okay. I'll so you guys party. come back tomorrow at 9 PM. Yeah. Me living legend and Muchella will be up here bringing you guys the unadulterated oh, truth. No, I was about supposed to do YouTube. the shy tomorrow. Oh, well, never mind. And it'll just be me. Okay. Well, can I you gotta figure. Move? I'm gonna I'm I'm move some stuff around. Well, I was gonna say, you know what? I'll go if, at if, ten. Okay. Got... Okay. Okay. That'll work. And we'll be done by nine thirty, so we ain't gonna be long. All, All right. right. Cool. I got cool. you. Cool. Moochie, didn't you say yesterday the possibility about famous getting hooked on drugs? You said that yesterday, right? I did say that. Okay. I did say that. Okay. I did. Mm. I did say that. Oh, mm. oh, is it my turn to speak? Yeah, someone yeah. said it in the comments, yeah. but I wanted to give Yeah, because you, said you it remember well. when the mother kicked him out? He stole money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's been hanging in that studio. Smoking weed. And, and remember, Crown Camacho gave that ruler blunt to Nicole. So mm -hmm. she had her first hit of that that night. You can't yep. tell me he ain't do that to him, too. Mm-hmm. And, and look how Moochie and he, connecting the dots. That's just from innocent, just from smoking behind him. That's yeah, why you don't right. smoke with people you don't know like that. You can't smoke with everybody. Mm -hmm. Anywho, but I'm not a pothead, though. But I'm just saying. But Right, right. And and you <laughs> notice how Crown, Crown all of a sudden showing so much love to the dude. 
I know I know he said it's because he told the sister I'm gonna look out for you and all that, but I think it's a little a little bit more to it than just that, you know. And we'll see where they go with famous, but I don't want famous to die no time soon either because I like to see where they take the character. And I would actually like to see him actually blow up and have an album going and the kind of trouble you can get into with having this character hanging with Kane and, and the drug game doing a tour. That would be crazy. So we'll see where they go with this. We'll see where they go. We, we got to make sure he don't smoke none of the famous too. <laughs> it might be too late for that, Moochie. He might he might already be on that fame train. Oh, man, I hope he, he's gonna get jammed up. Then y'all, is he gonna make yeah. it out the season? We see might that. see the progress of it, and by the end, where we be like, oh, dude mm. is a full fledged crackhead. Wow, wow. Look, he ain't got his mother, so it's not like look, he gonna be living under a place that he's on the streets. He's on the streets. Mm. Then he's gonna get this spot. Damn. Supposedly, maybe. Mm -hmm. that Crown Camacho is going to help him get. Right. And he already done told him it's not in the best neighborhood, which tells me something else. You got to watch your environment, too. So yeah. where he's he about to stick my man up at? Who knows? Uh-uh. To all glass that he looking like a fiend now. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. I mean, remember I Remember the famous up? name is Sean Figueroa. And remember, Kanan's son's name was Sean Stark. Okay. Yep. Mm. Yeah, we've been talking about that. So mm. they kind of they kind of gave that away in the beginning of the series. What's what's up to my homie Tall Glass? What's up to my homie Gina? And that was really his friend. Um, he showed a picture on his Instagram of him back in the day, fifty, and it was mm -hmm. a kid that looked just like Famous. Oh wow! Oh really? Yeah. Really? Okay. Recent? Yeah. Oh, a while? Nah, ago. this was yesterday. Oh shit! Okay. I saw yes, it okay. yesterday. Wow. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Hey, they don't play. Last thing I want to cover, and then we'll let you ladies get out of here and let the crowd get out of here. Be sure to like. We've got 355. Be sure to give us all a like. Be sure to subscribe to these ladies' channels. They put out good work. Are y'all still rocking with me on the fact that they could get rid of Burke and insert the white Adina Howard? Definitely. I don't mm. know. I mean, uh, yeah, next season to like, you know, figure out how. Whenever she... they do get rid of her, yeah. she's going to come back looking for answers. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. I can see that. And maybe that could be someone that Juke gets squatted up with, learns about the ropes, about police force, that type deal. And um, could be a mentor the way you guys mentioned that you feel like Detective Burke is trying to be a mentor to you type thing. So mm -hmm. we'll, we'll see. So let me take some fan commentary, then I'll let you guys out of here. So let's see here. My boy Big Buzz, he says, I'm thinking Famous will be gone by the end of the season. He plays an idiot with no direction of his own. <laughs> He's a kid. He's 16. Yeah, and he's a kid, and men, we don't mature as quickly as the women do when it comes to the mental aspect. Physically, okay. we mature, but not the mental part. So, but I don't think they're gonna kick, I don't think he's dying this season. I my my bet is on my sheet of paper right here. Okay, and it's definitely Marvin is on this paper. I Ooh. just say that right now. Marvin owned this paper. Oh, for me, can you please put Bert for this season? Uh, oh, I got a question. Somebody you just already got went... her. Okay. You already got her. Who you, I got, got. You, got, you got wait. Okay, let me get this right. I don't think you, I got anybody. Monique, Monique Nicole, Moochie, you got Lulu. Monique what? Nicole. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you said Lulu. Monique oh, says Burke dies, Marvin dies. Whoa. Mm. I don't remember saying that. Yo, you might you be right, it. girl. You, you might be it. right. You said it. You might be right. Look. And you if, know, you know who else said Marvin dies? My number one pick. Look on my list. My Nina? number one pick was Marvin. Okay. And look what down Nina there. Put? I, I got scrap dies too. Yeah. Nita's not on the list. Oh, I thought she puts okay. She usually be on point with hers too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. shall see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. A lot of things are possible, which I like. I like that we don't necessarily know. I, I like that we're having these conversations and these theories. I, I like that. Keep us, keep us on our toes. And exactly. that to me is what force was missing. Amongst other things, force was missing that like, oh, okay, what's gonna happen next? Or what could happen with, I just feel like that it was, 
it was missing that in my opinion but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you you feel like force was forced <laughs> <laughs> yes quite literally it was forced. wow let me check this one out so Jeremiah says, I believe the family dinner scene will be in episode eight, <laughs> and Juke uh -uh. is gonna spill all the beans yeah. and everyone gonna be fine. I would love mm. it. Like, if like, they do that, yeah. if they do another like like shoot, night at the, at the Thompson's house at the Thompson's yes, house. Yes, 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 yes. I would love it's it. Gonna it's gonna be gonna noodles and sauce everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> So check this out. Um, Trey, the truth says, Force showrunner left the production. So yeah. who, Force, do you know who's the current showrunner for him not right now? I Let know, us know. Didn't he leave in the middle of the season, though? I thought, yeah, that's when I thought when he left, that's when the writing too. changed. Because mm. mm. remember the beginning, they had him looking like a superhero. Right. <laughs> and Ronald right. Cameron says, is it true 50s considering leaving SARS or is he trolling again? Probably both. Two mm. things can be true in this situation. If he could find a bidder that's going to pay more money or equal money and give him more creative control, stars is done. Yeah. But at the same time, we don't know what kind of contract that he has in place with stars for these stories. Yeah, and 50 take got, it with him. 50 got Ooh. other stuff. 50 is actually trying to work on doing some comics. He's got a deal with DC. Um, he's trying to do some other things, other stories. Horror similar movies to Black too. And horror, yeah, and horror movies. So We'll see where he goes with that. Tall Glass says, Lamont, Juke staying at the house in Ghost that Rock lives that's, in That's I was looking for now. that to tell you about. Wait, what's thing? Yeah, remember when she... That's what I wanted to ask her. Is it the house that she brought Tariq back to and she and Kane and killed her there? Because I mm. think that's the house. But I okay. could be wrong. But I could be right. You could be right. Yeah, definitely. You could always be right. Let's see what else we got. Antonio says, love the show, guys. See you next week. Hey, mm -hmm. man, we're going to hey, we gonna be we gonna here, be here tomorrow. Week. We're going <laughs> to be here tomorrow. I'm going to be here Thursday with She-Hulk, and then we'll be here again Friday for House of the Dragon. And that stuff is getting delicious. Yeah, come uh, on back, see, new AP. Wasn't, wasn't, I mean, wasn't Jukebox in D.C.? When we, when we she, she was in DC, that's where he went after he got burnt up. But remember yeah. when she kidnapped Kanan? I mean, I, what am I saying? Remember Tariq. when she kid when they kidnapped Tariq and they was holding him ransom? Was mm -hmm. that abandoned house there? Right, right. Was that right. the house? I, I, mean, I'm gonna have to go back and check. I had to go back and check. I think it was because the outside of it looked different. It did look different. Yeah, I think it, it was did. probably still in DC, probably. Nah, because they took the train home after that. Who's going to take the train home all the way from? <laughs> they was on the subway. Oh, my gosh, you're right. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How did that work? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. yeah they, look, they went and got right back on that E or F or the J. Hmm. And he, and he, I mean, he had the blood on his collar and all of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Wow. At Mucci. When Tariq tells them he has an elevator at his house right before he started robbing. Oh. Wow, I don't even know. Now I can't remember. Now I gotta. Now you know what we got. I gotta get pretty girl because she's doing a rewatch yeah. on this. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and she gonna hey, break it down. Moochie, here's one that we ain't think about. Demarcus says, "I hope we see young Tony Terezi with the Italians, Tommy people." Whoa, that would be cool. Mm -hmm. he, if if you do, if you do. Mm -hmm. That's it, it, it's so much that could tie in with this now that you're bringing the right. Italians in, right? Right, definitely because they so with power didn't mess with, didn't bring the Italians into the end. No, yes. they didn't. Mm -mm. They brought now them that in. you got them in the second season. Mm -hmm. This could go far, they it can could. be a problem, they could definitely be a problem. Yeah, they could so. be a menace to like, a, like you know, somebody giving her like the business and all of that. Mm hmm. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to put a pin in it right there. We are so appreciative and grateful for you all coming to listen to us on a Tuesday night, letting us entertain you as only we can and giving you fellas something really, really good to look at that. I that eyeball need that candy, too. 
Uh-oh. Please be sure to subscribe to our channels. <laughs> Download the Life Game Podcast. You can take us anywhere you go. And then follow us on these social media links. We've got a Twitter. We've got an Instagram. Everything is in the video description. My sisters here got their channels in the video description. Please check them out. Like I said, we will be back tomorrow with the living legend Larry to discuss this bull job going on in YouTube where they program mechanical algorithms to mm. chase and follow them watts. Till that Larry's next been sex ahead of it. He's been ahead of it. Mm-hmm. Till that next sex as hell video, we out.